Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rainy Beach. <laughs> <laughs> something in the air, always something dead in the air. Inexplicable, I can feel it in the air. Can you feel me? everybody welcome to day two of our sunny beach bulgaria travel series uh we must confess we got up a little bit late today okay. i think it was because we didn't get much sleep last night or the day we came to bulgaria we was too excited and obviously we had to leave the house at 2 15 in the morning so we didn't get much sleep that day then we had all traveling and the excitement when we got in to bed last night after being out we just completely zonked out about three o'clock in the morning and we didn't wake up till about 10 45 so we missed breakfast so we haven't got any footage of that to show you but i will video it and record it for you to show you uh we have chilled for a little while it is now about eight, half eleven uh we've not done much at all today we've just literally woke up and got dressed as you can see outside it's not very sunny it should be probably today be called rainy beach it's a quite gloomy, it isn't raining at the moment, but it has been. So we're not entirely sure what we're gonna do today. We are hoping that there is something on the menu today for lunch that we can eat, because we are both starving. Uh, we had tucked into a very, very delicious kebab about half two last night, which was lovely and really ended the night. But we haven't eaten anything since, so we are both quite hungry. So we're gonna leave now, go down to probably the bar and games room, get a drink, nothing alcoholic just yet, we'll probably just get a spray or something, wait until lunch opens and then we'll go into the main dining room for lunch. I will show you what's on offer tonight, or today, sorry, and then so on. We're not entirely sure if the meals are repeated here at this hotel or it's a different menu every night, but we'll show you anyway when we know. The next stop now is the sports and games area.
have you got? Is that your second plate? Yeah, I love hot stuff. It's what what is it? Stuff it's like a pork mince, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Um, it's nice potato thing. And salt. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy. Same thing I really like. <laughs> yeah. And that is your second plate because you're a greedy yeah. gosling. Yeah. Yeah. Gosling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> enjoy. I've just gone for pasta and some cream sauce. But enjoy. Afternoon, everybody. Sorry I wasn't on camera before. I went very, very, very hungry. Mm -hmm. I finally got some chocolate ice cream. And Wayne's tried a hot chocolate, which we think is quite nice, don't we? Yeah, it's nice. Very strong though, isn't it? It's very, yeah. very, very chocolatey, but it's nice. I do want to say one thing. The food is very, very limited. And this is my honest opinion, so I'll probably say if you are coming to this hotel, maybe go self-catering, I'm not sure. That's just our opinion. We said we'll be as honest as we can, but the food is not the best. No. But I'll just have to stuff myself on little chocolate balls and chocolate ice cream. But they don't... The potatoes are nice. I will say they don't just cater to the English side, they cater to all countries here, so yeah. it's probably not food that we're used to, isn't no. it? It yeah. is tasty. Yeah. It's just not what I'm used to, as James yeah. just said, but Wayne Cave, um, I'm not sure if he said he was hungry in the end, but he got some pasta, yeah. but I think he's done now, aren't you? No, I'm still eating. Still eating, yeah. We've got chocolate ice cream. We have noticed that the game room is open. I did go to the toilet a minute ago. It is open now, so we're going to possibly go in there and see. It looks like it's not going to stop raining, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, but as we said, we said this vlog was going to be a relaxing one. So, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's summer holiday. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rainy Beach. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's only meant to be about this Sunday, don't know Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so literally today, and then we've got three days of nice weather. Yeah, and then it rained. one day it was meant to be nice, it's gone back. Well, it's only 40%, whereas yeah. today's 80% chance of raining, wasn't it? I don't mind dealing with one day. No, but anyway, yeah, welcome to Rainy Beach. <laughs> I will not be going outside today. <laughs> It's a little bit later now, I do apologise. Uh, before we went down to lunch, we did say we was going to go to the sports bar and maybe get a drink and wait for lunch. Now, unfortunately, when we got down there, it was closed. It doesn't open till 3 p.m. Now, we didn't know that at the time because yesterday we didn't arrive till 2 and we came straight up to the room. We just assumed that it was going to be open from like the morning, but unfortunately, that wasn't open. So, we decided that although we couldn't go, we wasn't going to go anywhere because we didn't have the time because lunch was going to be served in like 40 minutes, we decided to go outside by the pool and get some fresh air just as we went to do that the heavens opened so we decided to sit in the lobby with a beer or two and just wait until lunch was uh, ready we went upstairs to lunch I got pasta which was quite nice to be honest I must admit it was really nice um, Jess got a mixed match of food and in some desserts and we had a couple of sprites each oh I've gone all That's better. Yeah, so sorry about that. I went a bit all blurry. So, um, yeah, we had lunch. It was quite nice, I must admit. It wasn't the best, but I think the problem lies with Jess and myself and not the actual restaurant itself because everyone else that we've spoken to here and have said they've enjoyed the food. Now, me and Jess have a theory, so I'm just going to run that theory past you and see if we're on the right track. So when Britons or British people go abroad, Spain, Portugal, all these other hot places, the hotel itself, their main clientele is British people. So they obviously cook everything that the British want and need and what's familiar with them to keep them happy because obviously their main clientele is British people. But in this resort and in this country, Britons or British people are not their main clientele. There's a few of us here, granted, but there's a lot more Polish, Hungarian, and Ukrainian, Bulgarian, uh, I can't remember who else we've spoken to, German people here. There's a lot more other nationalities here in this place, so obviously the hotel has to cater for all everyone's needs and tastes and dishes. So obviously when we rock up, expecting to see like 
nuggets, chips, hot dogs and stuff like that. It's not, it's other cuisines. And obviously because Jess and I are not familiar with these cuisines and we're not entirely sure what's in them, we don't tend to go near them and we just stick to what limited is for us, which is only like nuggets, chicken and fries and stuff like that. So I don't think the food is actually that bad because everyone else is eating it and they're saying it's nice. I think the problem lies with us. So if you do come here, don't just think that we've told you the food is bad because I don't think it is bad. I think it's just a problem with us itself. But anyway, that's a whole new ball game. It's up to you. You eat away, you try we all do you try whatever you want to try. I just wanted to say I don't want to come on the cam and say that the food is horrible, the food is up because it's not, it's just not what we're used to, shall we say that? Um after lunch we was about to go to have a look around the strip and we wanted to go to that supermarket that I mentioned earlier but then the rain came down even harder and it's been raining for the last two hours. Torrential rain. Now Jess can't go out because she's only got a little light jacket and her permacaf cannot get wet in the slightest. If it gets damp it could turn into like an infection and then we'll be really really in trouble so unfortunately we had lunch then we went down to reception again in the lobby they've got a lovely seating area they've got a bar there so we just had a few drinks jessica got got talking to a german couple i can't remember their names manfred i think it was manfred so just got talking to them i was on my phone actually sorting out a few things for when i get back home so i said hello but i didn't really make conversation too much but jessica had a lovely talk with them so if you are watching i'm sorry i wasn't uh too talkative i was on my phone doing a few things but i hope you have a lovely holiday i think they've been here about three weeks or something and they go home soon so if you're watching have a lovely holiday i'm so sorry i didn't say hello properly but i'm saying hello now um i think jessica is still down there actually talking to him uh, it has been about two hours since lunch had finished and it's only just stopped raining but it's that fine drizzle still it's not coming down torrentially it's just that fine drizzle now the entertainment staff said they can't do anything outside due to obviously the bad weather so i think they're going to bring some table games or something into the lobby so i've just nipped up here now to get a jacket because it's really cold down there i don't know i think it must be the aircon so then i'm going to go back downstairs and take part in these little games i'm not sure if we're going to go to the supermarket today it's going to have to stop soon we haven't got an umbrella either but we do want to go to the supermarket but we just have to wait until it stops raining so i'm going to go downstairs now and uh, play these table games we've put our names down on the sheet so i'm looking forward to it not entirely, entirely sure what it is but they're setting up downstairs now so i'm going to love you and leave you and uh, take part in these games so hopefully i'll come back the winner i don't care about losing against anyone else i just need to beat jess so i'll see you soon <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Nine. Okay, guys. Twelve. Jess, you got twelve. Twelve? Yeah. Okay. You're Wayne. Give it proper welly. Yeah, you did. <laughs> wow. Very great for the video. Oh. Yeah. You want to try again? Jess, you got 12. Yeah. <laughs> you well and truly beat me. 38. Well done, you've got the medal. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to dedicate this medal to my mum and dad, who I knew would be watching me in heaven, wishing me on for this medal. So, mum, dad, this is for you. He's such an idiot. I technically won the tournament though, yeah. you've just stole it off me. <laughs> so it was 2-1. 2 one. Two one, wasn't it at the end, yeah. Well done. <laughs> right, it stopped raining, so we're gonna go and explore. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> and we finally made it out. Woohoo! The weather has stopped now, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, whether it's gonna start raining again, we don't know, but we thought it would nip out quickly now. Hi. Well, the weather is nice. Now it's meant to be sunny tomorrow and for the next few days, so that's good news. And it's meant to rain again then on Sunday, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm but sick of the rain. When we first got here, we did mention that there's a supermarket across the road from our hotel called Janet. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go and visit that and see what goodies they've got inside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll get a little trolley just in case, yeah? One of those, please. One. Thank you. Cream cake for me. You get one? No. Thank you. Cream cake for me. You get one? No. We've been looking for one these for ages, haven't we? Oh, these are. One. I think that one will be better. Yeah. We've been looking for these for ages in every country we go to, haven't we? Yeah. Like a European night. Like, how much are they? It's ten. So what's that? About a fiver. Yeah. Yeah. Bung we're it in. Get, we need an American one as well. Yeah. But we do. I can't take it on like the cruise. No. But it'll be doing for like I don't know what European trips. Spain, Spain like. Portugal. So it's actually. I think we should get we'll grab get it. it. We're not yeah. gonna get it cheaper anywhere else. No. Or? <laughs> I'm going add in. They've got other ones here as well, haven't they? They've got like these ones. Yeah. These ones are suitable. Yeah. But actually, that might be better actually. There's 12 though. Yeah, I know, but all I'm thinking is you can't take these on cruises. We're not going to use them on cruises, are we? This is if we go abroad, like Spain, Portugal, and other European oh, okay. countries, aren't we? Or our little city trips that we go on. Yeah. I think it's ideal for myself. Any scales or food processors? Food processors. I'm filming it. Yeah. <laughs> I just said to Wayne. Yeah, because people really want to buy a toaster, don't they? Mm. <laughs> Not everyone is all inclusive. Yeah. Some people are just room only and they would love the fact that you can get a toaster next door. I met a lady who takes a travel kettle, travel iron and a travel toaster. Yeah, so and actually tiny. I'm gonna show them the toasters. Yeah. I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you the toasters. I'm gonna put my foot down and show you the toasters. <laughs> Oh wow. They're quite cheap, isn't it? I think it's bullshit. 
The cheapest toaster is that one, I think, 31. Oh wow. Jessica has just pointed out that this is not what we need. So these have to be UK plug sockets with a European main plug, which that is, but as you can clearly see, these are not UK plug sockets. So this is a complete waste of time. So unfortunately, this is gonna to have to go back on the shelf. Good job just realized this, otherwise we'd have paid 10 lev for something we didn't need. So this is going back on the shelf now. just back from the supermarket I'll show you exactly where it is just so you can have reference so it's that supermarket down where is it down there called Janet so it's only a couple of minutes walk but it was so busy in there the aisles are so tiny and it can't cope with all the tourists I'm and not naming it after me mum because yeah. she's kind and gentle <laughs> Uh, it's so busy down there and the aisles are so small and you've got kids running around and people bashing into people It's probably rude for us because we're not used to it in our country at home It wouldn't happen in Asda's or Tesco's but over here everyone just bashes into people and no one takes any notice of it No one no one gives anyone a dirty look They just get on with it and accept that that's the protocol over you just want to get somewhere you just go through them That's the end of it. It should be like that in the UK. Yeah, yeah loads of stuff but if you've got if you've done that in Asda or Tesco, just got a right shoulder barge in the back, didn't you earlier? Love if you if you'd done that in Tesco Asda, you probably would have got a, you know a punch or a few <laughs> choice words. But anyway, we're back in the room now. It was an experience that I don't want to do again. <laughs> but we're gonna show you what we got. So let me turn you around. So we've got some just steel water for the kettle. I'm not sure if you can actually excuse the t-shirt in the back now uh, I'm not entirely sure if you can drink water from the taps here but we're not gonna risk it so we've just got some bottled water for the kettle Jess has got some ruffles these are Jess's favorite crisps not the salted ones she normally goes for the cheese and bacon or the cheese and sour cream but she's gonna try these salted ones I've got these kiddies crisps I think that's bacon or ham or something, but they look nice, so we've got them. I've got a Milka bar raspberry cream. I had this, I can't remember where I had this. I think it was in Bognor, Butlins. I bought this from a Polish shop and it was delicious, so I've got it again. Jess has gone just for a triple, triple chocolate Milka. She's also got some salted peanuts. I've got this bar, I wouldn't have a clue how to pronounce it, but it was like 29 Stutinkies, which is like pence for us. So that was that. I also got some chow, chow, sour crisps, uh, sour cream and onion crisps. I've got a cream cake in there that I'm gonna eat in a minute. And all this came to a very good, if it focuses, 13 lev and 72 Stutinkies. I think that's how you pronounce it which is roughly about, probably about a fiver, five to six pounds. So that's our little haul. Now the plan is, just what time is it? I've got I think it's, you just check. I think, what time is it now? It's um, six o'clock, five past six. Six o'clock? Yeah. So we're gonna have this chocolate cake now and I'm probably gonna put a brew on. 
sit on the balcony, eat that, and then we're going to go down, well, stress is getting ready for dinner, and then we'll probably go down around 7 o'clock for dinner. Uh, dinner starts here at 6 till half 9, I believe, or 6 till 9, one of the two. Uh, so I'm going to have the cream cake now with a brew, and then waiting for Jess to get ready, and then we'll go down for dinner. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be the same stuff from dinner last night. If it is, I won't bother filming it because you've seen it all last time. If there is differences, I will film it to show you because I'm sure people want, want to know. But um, yeah, we'll see you in a little while. I just thought I'd show you the cake. Look at that chocolate mess. I can't wait to dig into this. I've got a baby wipe at the ready because it's going to be a messy job. <laughs> I gave you that. Yeah. Jessica is kindly making me a nice brew. <laughs> Aren't you? Although that was the punishment if whoever won the game. Oh yes, that was true, yeah. Whoever won that Bulgarian, well I don't know if it's a Bulgarian game or not, do we? But whoever won that game down in the lobby, the loser had to make the bruise. So, uh, she's the bruiser. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Change your plan as well. We was meant to be sitting on a balcony. That door always slams, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. oh. So we was meant to be sitting on a balcony, but it's a little bit nippy out there at the moment. The temperature has really dropped here in Sunny Beach. So, yeah. Isn't it? Really dropped. So, yep. Yeah. So, we're going to literally eat this. Jessica's going to do something with her hair, some curling. Are you going to use that curling thing on the table? I can't be bothered tonight. You're not going to bother? I don't know. I might just leave it how it is. Oh, guys, if you're wondering why Jessica's taking my tea into the bathroom, there is no bin, there is actually no bin in the, in this, in the hotel room itself. The only bin we have got is the one in the bathroom. And so, you want to just spoon wash and feed Yeah. So there is no actual, no actual bin in the bang. Oh, look at that. Put that on there just so it doesn't yeah. stain. Well trained, yeah? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No, I just, I've had my hair all chopped off. I don't know whether you, any of you have seen, yeah. but my hair's like here now. And it's just driving me insane unless I curl it. Or I forgot my straighteners. You've got that curling thing, haven't you? Yeah, but it takes so long. Oh. And the noise sounds like something from intensive care. <laughs> it just bleeps. So I might just, I don't know, no one seems to be getting doled up. So no. I might just put a bit of mascara on. Do something with your back, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as I was saying, folks, there is actually no bin in this room. It's a bit strange. I'm not sure why. Maybe there was one, but it got damaged. I don't know. But the only bin we've got is in the bathroom, isn't it? Yeah, I'm calling this stuff in my face. Yeah. So I'm going to eat this delicious cream cake, drink my brew. You're not getting it. Good angles. <laughs> and then we're going to go down for dinner uh, around about an hour's time. So I've quickly just got ready, done my makeup. We're going to go down for dinner in a minute. I'm just waiting for Wayne to get ready. But while I'm waiting on the balcony, I just wanted to show you this lovely sunset. The sun is just slowly setting in the distance, but the view after it's finished raining is so gorgeous and you can see the sun reflecting off all of the water in the fields it's absolutely beautiful this is what i mean about my hair it's more yeah. flicky yeah see how short it is Oh yeah, you look beautiful. No one's seen it. No, they it's haven't so ever. Yeah. But I can't wear it down fully because Wayne says I look like a what? A little Afghan hound. An Afghan hound. He's <laughs> so mean. Oh, this vlog's just gonna be as was nice and lovely. Yeah. yeah. So he said I look like an Afghan hound. We'll insert a picture, just there. <laughs> it's nice and dry out there tonight. Yeah, it's definitely, oh no, this glass is, oh yeah, it's better now, yeah. So the glass makes it look a lot blue out there than it should be. Didn't bang today. No. It usually goes, bang. Yeah, that, that, door is quite, that door is quite vicious, isn't it? Yeah. It goes, <laughs> bang. <laughs> Thank you.
love you got? Chicken, meatballs, mm -hmm. roast potatoes, which are lovely, and these are like chicken burgers. Oh, very nice. Really nice. I'm gonna go get my food now. I've done my duty and filmed the food. Oh, Cheers. Cheers. I've got my normal vegetable lasagna, potatoes, meatballs, and a chicken, chicken burger. burger. I did just want to say as well, um, the food looks so much better tonight and we're very, very pleased with it. So thumbs up, we're very, very happy. So it's not that we don't like the food, it's just not to our taste. But tonight the food seems really, really delicious. So, really and Wayne's nice. enjoying himself, yeah. so really very happy. Nice. Really. <laughs> really nice tonight, really nice. These meatballs are delicious. And these spots, lovely. Good. Well done. Ooh. We've just come back up to the room just to get a jacket on. It's a little bit nippy this evening, um, just as in the bathroom at the moment. Dinner today was delicious. It's been the best meal we've had to date. It was lovely. Everything was cooked fresh. It was just delicious. Um, there is karaoke, we believe, tonight, but it's not going to be outside because it's still wet and slippery. So as far as we're aware, it's meant to be inside, but we're going to go back down and check that out in a second. But I'll just come out on the balcony because although we've shown you the sunset or the sun setting, we've not actually shown you this view yet. So I'm just going to turn the camera around and show you. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to do it justi uh, justice, but look at that. Let me zoom in. How beautiful is that? So we are going to go down now. I believe Jessica is going to sign up to do karaoke. So hopefully there will be another uh, song or an opportunity to show you how good Jess is at singing. She's really, really good although she doesn't believe it herself. But most of our vlogs that we've had, most travel series, always contain one song where Jess is singing. So hopefully this will continue. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I think she's a little bit nervous, but we'll see. We, we believe it's karaoke. Quite a few people said it is tonight, but we've not actually asked the actual animation team. So we'll just have to see when we get downstairs. Once that's done and, we, and she's sung, the plan is to probably go out and find a bar to watch the Rangers game. Uh, they're in the Europa League final today against Frankfurt, so we might be able to catch the second half of that. Maybe a beer or two and then we'll come back. You looking forward to beer pong? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jess. Are you looking forward to beer pong? Oh, 
with you. Ah. <laughs> so we finally made it out on the strip. We yeah. just had a game of pool, yes. uh, ping pong, uh, beer, beer, pong. beer pong. We just met with the entertainment team, entertainment team, yeah. and had a little chat with them for about what half hour. Yeah. And now I feel so yeah. bad though. I only remember Gary. And Misha, 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 I think. Yeah, I can't remember. And the new guy. Oh, and Daniel. 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 And the new guy. Yep. I can't remember your name. No, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> we are now going to Flower Street because we're going to try and see if we can catch the last few minutes of the Rangers game, aren't yeah. we? We are going to take the camera with us because it wasn't that busy last night, so we think we're going to risk it tonight, aren't we? Yeah. If we go anywhere else, though, other than yeah. the funny bar, we're going to take it. Upstairs. Yeah. But yeah, next you'll see us in a funny bar. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody fancies a night with the ladies? <laughs> <laughs> That's the exotic bar. <laughs> so, I've been learning about a false advertisement at university. I'm telling you now, Selena Gomez did not agree to that. No, not to the Crown Exchange place. <laughs> oh, that band's going to be on, isn't it? Do you remember that cracking band that we got last night? Last night they was on. That was it. The band. That's what they're called. The Vagabond. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll show you everyone that. They were so good, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Vagabond. Hey. Yeah, that's the lead. That was the lead singer. He done a lovely rendition of "Money for Nothing" uh, by Dire Straits. Hey, yeah. Find him.
Evening everyone, so we have just got back to the hotel room after a fantastic evening. You saw us after dinner play beer pong with the animation team, which was so much fun. The beer tasted absolutely horrendous, and that's not because it's not nice, it's just because I'm not a beer fan. Wayne had to knock back two pints as well, if you can call them pints, but we had a load of fun. And then shortly after that, we sat in like the reception lobby bar area, which is what it's called, and we sat and chatted to the animation team. I'm so sorry, I can't remember your name, so tomorrow when we wake up, I'll mention all of your names if you are watching i know a few of you have subscribed to our channel so thank you so much and i will make sure i give you all a proper shout out tomorrow once we'd done that it was about 11 o'clock and they all had to go home and rest because they start again tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning that is a very long shift and they do work very hard so well done guys thanks for all your dedication and support to all the customers here at the cuban resort and just to let you know it is called the cuban not the cuban as we've been calling it since yesterday and then once we've done that, we went over to the Laughing Pub, Laughing Bar, I believe it's called, and we had a drink, and I think Wayne had a beer, and we watched the Rangers Frankfurt game, and I'm afraid, as you've seen in the last clip, that Rangers lost on penalties, I think it was 5-4, which is sad for them, because it would have been a fantastic victory, I think it was like 150 years or something, they'd not won a trophy. And we've just gone to the shop, Wayne's got some treats, and now he's in the shower, I'm just saying goodbye. Bye. sorry goodbye and good night very quickly because i'm absolutely shattered it's been a very long day again but thank you so much for watching day two of our bulgaria sunny beach travel series and we will see you tomorrow or this time next week for day three and fingers crossed the weather will stay as sunny as my apple weather app is saying so i will see you all tomorrow good night everyone next time on holiday with the heathers every time we're on our balcony we keep calling this the janet road because <laughs> there's a supermarket on it what we need to do is google the name of this road so we yeah. can use it in reference because we can't keep calling it the janet road <laughs> yeah oh, well. still in the tournament just <laughs> <laughs> used to do